Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I wanted to introduce someone very special. This is Big Haas. He is the first rooster to be born on this farm that is a purebred Delaware broiler. And I'm very proud of him. He is one of two roosters that we have right now that carry those Delaware lines. And I do really like them. They're really nice birds. They're very docile. And as you can obviously see, he is quite a large bird. He was only born in February. So the first of his babies are in the incubator right now and then also under a broody hen. I also recently got attacked by something. So I'll also be going over that. So that rooster was born in February, and then the first of his babies to hatch out are actually under this broody hen. There's only four eggs there. Normal foot. Yeah, you can see all the bones. Yellow jacket foot. Look at the difference. I gotta go milk. Look at the difference. Oh my gosh. Look at these little guys. These are the chicks that were recently hatched out under a broody hen. And they find their way under the fence. And they hang out in the goat coop all day. A goat pasture. Hello. Hello, this is my boy, my boy. He is such a good boy. The garden is in full bloom. Check out that corn. The squash plant got blown over a little bit. It's like kind of a windy day. There's a nice one. Oh, there's a nice one too. This cucumber plant keeps getting forgotten about because it's a volunteer and because it's growing on the ground. But I'm gonna try to be better about remembering these cucumbers because this is a really nice little cucumber. Oh man, we got some zucchini on. And it does look like there's a squash bug in there. See that? some diatomaceous earth down. But let's get this zucchini out. Alright. There we go. I am going to be making some zucchini bread. There he is. Little stinker. Where can I squish him? Go away. Alright, there's one. And there's two. Let's see. Oh man. I do got I got squash bloods bad. Alright. Alright, that's another nice one. 
these little cherry tomatoes. Some of these plants are as tall as I am. Here's some more. And down that whole line, we did not plant any of them, as well as any of those ones over there. They all planted themselves, which is great. I'll take it. All right, so right next to the zucchini is the bean patch. That's kind of bordered by the zucchini, a pumpkin plant over there, eggplant right here, and then this is the beans right here. And, uh, it's getting to be time for me to replant them. I've already harvested a bunch of them. They're doing really good. But, um, yeah. They grow so fast that sometimes you just gotta replant them a little bit. Over there, you can see our biggest pumpkin, which is a white pumpkin that I put in the compost last year. And lo and behold, and then we have one that's already turning orange. Wow. All right, so let me try to, this is what it looks like <laughs> where I'm standing. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get over there. All right, looks like I missed a eggplant. We got a rotten eggplant here. So what I'm gonna do is cut this off and I'm just gonna leave it right in the garden in the hopes that it'll reseed next year. All right, so now we're near the pumpkin and there's actually another one down here somewhere. There it is, but look at this cucumber. cut this sucker down. So here we got an eggplant. So I'm gonna harvest that. And then right next to it, check this out. We got a pumpkin. So this is where I was weeding. You can see, you know, I was just kind of getting in between the potato plants and trying to get some of the weeds out and I must have either been standing on the nest or I threw the weeds on the nest but yeah this is where they came from this is a good angle of the of the garden though you can see the pumpkin pumpkin starting to turn orange See if there's any zucchini that need to get picked. I don't see any right now. There's a little tiny pumpkin. I'm actually, like a little scared to be over here. There's a zucchini. I probably should get picked soon. All right. All right. So I just got back from a 4-H event with my son. And I think I am going to put my foot up for her a little bit. The goat's back in the pen. She's settled. She did really, really good today. And I have my youngest out in the living room watching a little bit of TV. And my other son is outside with dad. So I think I'm going to put up my foot for a little while and maybe edit some videos. So crazy crazy what a little tiny bug can do isn't it